Hi, I'm Garen Reese. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a pickup in your harpsicle harp. Now this does require drilling a hole in the bottom of your harp, but no worries, it's not as scary as you might think. I'll step you through it. Let's take a look at what comes with your pickup kit. A little tube of super glue, some foam rubber tubing, a 31 64th drill bit, a nine volt battery and a pouch to stick it to, or stick it in, a little piece of Velcro to stick the battery pouch to, a battery pouch mounting plate slash template, this template allows you to locate where to drill the hole in your heart. I'll show that to you later. And most importantly, the LR Bags I-Beam pickup system. There are two tools that are required that do not come with the kit. The hand drill and a 12 millimeter wrench. Now, if you don't have a 12 millimeter wrench, you can also use an adjustable wrench. Oh, you also need a pen. All right, grab your template and let's get started. You'll want to lay your harp on its back on a soft surface. A towel works good to pad the harp. Take your template and I'll line it up like so, just underneath the column. Make sure that this line is just to the left of the column and that this hole is also located to the left of the column. Take your pen and mark your hole. This is where you will be drilling. All right, time to drill. Make sure that your drill bit is tight in the check. You don't want this coming loose while you're drilling. All right, that's pretty good. Now there's a sharp point on this drill bit, the very tip that helps keep you in place. So what we're gonna do is take this point right and place it right where you marked the hole with the pen. Place it right there and then actually press that point into the wood so it sticks. This will help Keep the drill in place and guide your drill. Grab onto the column, firm grip here. Make sure your drill isn't down or up or to the side. You want it to drill pretty straight into the heart. You don't want to go really fast and you don't want to go too slow. Now you'll want to reach inside the back of the harp and remove any debris or wood chips that may be obstructing the hole that you just drilled or any wood chips that are left in the back of the harp. You'll also want to take a damp paper towel and wipe down the inside of the harp, specifically where you'll be placing the pickup along this right side. This is where the rubber tubing adhesive will go. Around here. And also, soundboard in this area here you'll want to wipe down. Just make sure it's not dusty. This way the pickup elements will be able to stick to the surface much better. Now that the inside of the harp is clean, we're going to take the battery pouch mounting plate and glue it to the side of the harp, just inside the top access hole. That is the smaller access hole. The mounting plate will be glued in this location here which is just about in the middle, right in this location here. Make a little bead of glue right along the edge here. And do another bead on the other edge here. All right, now turn that over. Make sure not to get any glue on your harp as you're placing it in. And press it down, hold it for just a few seconds, just to get the stick. Take your little piece of Velcro, take the adhesive backing off, and attach that to the mounting plate to glue it in. While that's drying, we're gonna take the rubber tubing, and you can see it's open on one side, and we're gonna stuff the wires into it. Now take a ruler and starting about two inches here, this is where, where we are gonna start the rubber tubing. Now we're gonna install the pickup jack. Remove the nut and the washer from the end of the pickup jack. Now feed the jack through the hole. Now 
until it protrudes like that. Put the washer back on and the nut. Now take your 12 millimeter wrench and while holding the jack from the inside so that it doesn't spin, tighten the nut. You don't want this so tight that it's crushing the wood, but you just want it nice and snug so that it doesn't come loose. This piece here is the actual pickup that picks up the vibrations from the harp soundboard. So what we need to do is pull this out and kind of backtrack it to the end of the foam tubing. Once you get it to there, grab this piece and kind of pinch and crimp the wire here. And then we're gonna stuff it back into the foam tubing. Now it's in the proper location for us to attach to the soundboard. On the first lowest string, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the pickup, we're gonna install it on this side here at an angle on the soundboard just below the sixth string, just like that. All right, let's remove the adhesive, the adhesive backing. That off. And give it a good press. The harp like so. Then we're gonna pull this adhesive backing off. And we're gonna attach this to the side of the heart, right next to the back here, right along the side of the heart. And I'll leave the, some of the backing on so it doesn't stick to something while I'm trying to stick this part down. So I'm gonna stick this down first. I got that stuck down, then I'm going to remove the rest of the, the back of here. If some of the wires pop out, you can just feed them back in. Now we need to attach the volume control and the battery pack. So the volume control is this little wheel here and on the back it has an adhesive backing as well so we need to remove this little strip to reveal the adhesive and you can kind of put this anywhere you would like here. I like to set them right here just so the wheel is just sticking just above the bottom of the access hole, just sticking out so you can just see it. And then press it against the back of the heart for a few seconds, like that. And you can turn the wheel all the way to the left, that will be full volume. If you've turned all the way to the right, that'll be basically off and you won't get any sound. So I always turn it all the way up and then you can adjust it down if you want less volume later. Okay, now we want to attach the battery and pull it out to the wire here, like so. And we have a lot of excess wire here, which is nice because we can pull the battery pack out and change it this way. We want to wrap this excess wire around the battery a little bit like this. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of wire sticking out in here. So it's kind of stuffed into the battery pouch. There we go, like that. Stuff that in, push this in. Close the battery pouch. And oops, stick that in the heart on the Velcro. If there's any excess wire here sticking out like that, you want to stuff that into the battery pouch. You don't want any wires that will touch and rattle on the edge of the heart. Make sure they're all tucked into the foam. 
Nothing sticking out or touching the soundboard. All right, that's pretty much it. Now you've opened up your heart plane to a whole new world of amplification, loop pedals, effects pedals, and all sorts of new gadgets to explore. Have a lot of fun, much love, and happy harping.